Good morning and welcome to Cindy's Kitchen. We are so excited that you are here today. It is Super Saturday. Okay, you ready? Let's go. We're starting out with our soup pot because you have to have a soup pot or a stock pot or Dutch oven or whatever. Ooh, chili sounds good too. In here, I have two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of oil. Now, if you don't want butter, you could just use oil. If you don't want oil, you could just use butter. Or you can go and um, fry a couple of pieces of bacon and use the bacon juice, because we don't call it fat. We call it bacon juice, right? Um, and you could do that. I didn't use the bacon this morning. Uh, one, lazy. Uh, but two, in case you wanted this to be vegetarian, like no meat at all. So there you go. You make a choice. Now, the first thing you normally see me do is chop up onions and celery and carrots or peppers or things like that. But again, being very, very lazy. Lazy, lazy, lazy. So, I've told you all before that in your frozen food section, you can usually find for a dollar, right? For a dollar. Um, hey, Carol, good morning. A bag of frozen... Now, this is called... It says a mirepoix blend, but it's a Cajun style mirepoix. Mirepoix is M-I-R-E-P-O-I-X. And if you remember, a mirepoix is what you use to make most soups and, and sauces. And it starts out with two parts diced onion, one part diced celery, one part diced carrot. If it is a Cajun style, then it's not really called a mirepoix. In Louisiana, they call it the Holy Trinity. Or you could say a Cajun-style mirepoix. Maybe they didn't want to write Holy Trinity on a bag. And that is two parts onion, one part celery, one part green onion. So in my store, I could not find a, a basic. Or Deb, go out and come back in. Turn your Wi-Fi off or something. Maybe that will. Yeah, COVID fatigue. It may be. But, you know, everybody's going through hard times. Anyway, so because of that, <clears throat> I'm just going to, instead of slicing and dicing, I'm just going to open this up. Oops. Let me get my, y'all. My hands aren't working well together. Okay. So I've melted the butter. The butter's melted. Now I'm going to put my onions, celery, and this has the green pepper. If you want to slice and dice today, that's fine. My hands were kind of hurting. All right, so I've got that in the pot, and of course I'm gonna add some salt, right? A little salt on there, because we want our onions to sweat. Me, a little bit more salt. And a little pepper. Pepper for your poppycock. What movie does that come from? Pepper from your poppycock. All right, so now I'm gonna put this over here, and we're gonna start sauteing those. <clears throat> I'm gonna use this one today. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, ah, these are my bamboos. My bamboos. Okay, so we're gonna start that sauteing. If you're using the frozen ones, they'll cook faster as well. Yep, the Trinity. Um, you, you can, um, good morning, Sue. Uh, it'll cook a little faster because, you know, they're already kind of par cooked. Now, then we have to look at what other vegetables and other things that we're going to put in here. Now, I am, I did do some cutting because I wanted some fresh in here. But, of course, I picked things that were easy to cut. So, I have one yellow squash. And as you can tell, I just diced it up. If you like bigger pieces, you certainly could do that. Um, and then I also did one zucchini squash, okay? Okay. Uh, the zucchini and the uh, yellow squash were on sale for like, I want to say 99 cents a pound, which was cheap, right? Now, the other thing I have is one potato. I just cut it in half. This is just a russet potato. Um, I'm trying to use more inexpensive, hello Mary, inexpensive ingredients so that you guys aren't having to spend a 12 tons of money. Okay? All right, so again, just dicing that up. See, dicing it up. I'll flip this down a little bit more so you can see. Um, so again, 
I did use the bag, but it was 99 cents. It is your bowl, Joanne. <laughs> um, I did uh, use that bag, but you know, I'm mixing and matching. So you certainly could use all frozen vegetables in this. Uh, you could use canned vegetables. It would be fine too. Um, wholly up to you what's easiest for you, what works for you, and what kind of vegetables you like. Um, hello, Darlene. The only thing I would tell you is if you use a lot of root vegetables, like carrots, sweet potatoes, turnips, those kind of really hard root vegetables, those are going to take much longer to cook. So just think about that in how small of a piece, how small you're cutting, and how long it's gonna cut, or take to cook. Okay, now, can you hear the sizzle? I can hear the sizzle. All right. Oh, look, doused in butter and all yummy. Now, to this, we have to add what's Cindy's favorite ingredient. What's in the pot, what's in the pot? Roasted garlic, that's right. So, I'm going to add some roasted garlic. I'm not going to chop it up. Uh, let's see. That's a lot. You could probably add two cloves, maybe three. I'm adding one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm adding six. Um, I'm not going to chop it up because it'll, if I just do this in the pot, it comes apart. See, that's the great thing about roasted garlic. So good. So good. And then, just so everything else can start cooking, I'm going to go ahead and add my one potato. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Just one. Um, my yellow squash. In goes the yellow squash. Oh, Carmel from Kentucky is on. And then our zucchini squash. Okay? I'm going to put this back up. Well, let's give it a stir first, shall we? Stir, stir, stir. Okay. And put that back over here. Now... Um, there's really not enough liquid in there to do anything, but it's okay. I'm actually going to put a little bit more salt on there. Because I want those vegetables to sweat, and that's what we're going to use that salt for. It's okay. Um, it's all good. Now, we've used these bowls. We're going to tell you, I'm going to tell you what else I'm going to add. The only other real seasoning I'm going to add, other than the salt and pepper, is some smoked paprika. Now, you guys know uh, this is one of my favorite things. This is a sweet Hungarian smoked paprika. I just think it has, oh, to me, this has a lovely smell. If you've never tried smoked paprika, I highly recommend it, highly recommend it. All right, so I'm gonna add probably about a teaspoon of smoked paprika in, and then we have some, uh, the only other fresh thing I'm gonna add is spinach. Now, I just bought a bunch of spinach. It's cheaper. I know that it looks all pretty in the bags and the boxes. I know it looks prettier, but it's so much cheaper if you'll just buy a bunch, a bunch of fresh spinach, okay? Oh, I know, Carmel, it's awesome. Good morning, Nina. So there you go, look at that. And I did it, you don't have to chop it up. You could put it in their hole. I just don't want a piece of spinach, yay big, floating. So there you go. Um, oh, I can hear the veggies. Now we're gonna need some broth, because it's a soup, right? We're not just making veggies. So here's what I did. I used two, this is just a, a box of veggie broth, 32 ounces, and I used two of these. So that gives us 64 ounces. I may still have to add some water, and that's okay. If you want to, you can always do just one, a 32 ouncer, or a couple of cans, and then use the rest with water. It'll be fine, because our vegetables are gonna give us some good flavor. And it's another reason why I'm sauteing a little bit ahead of time, because layer of flavor, layer of flavor, layer of flavor. All right, so we're gonna need stock. I'm also gonna put in a big can. What is this? This is 28 ounces, a big 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. You can use diced tomatoes, you can use tomato sauce, you can use some tomato paste. Really, check what's in your pantry 
But I like this because the crushed tomatoes gives me some body, um, but I don't feel like I have to chop it up or there's big chunks of tomatoes, right? That being said, I want my minestrone to have a little kick, a little hoo hoo. So, in addition to my can of crushed tomatoes, I'm also gonna add a can of uh, tomatoes, diced tomatoes with green chilies, cause you know, right? Now, to make it minestrone, minestrone, whatever you wanna say, there's two ingredients we really need. And one is beans and the other is pasta, okay? So, I'm using great northern beans. You can use kidney beans, you can use any kind of beans you want. But traditionally, and you can use several kinds of beans if you want. I'm just using one can of great northern beans, okay? And then we gotta have some pasta. All right, hold on, let me bring the pot back over and we'll, we'll add some stuff. Oh, ooh, yummy, yummy, look at all that. Oh, I wish you could smell. Can you see the steam coming off? So good. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and add all of this stuff first. So here's my 20, 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, or whatever you're adding. My little zing, right? My, my diced tomatoes with green chilies, cause I want a little, whoo. And then um, the beans. Now, most of the time I drain the beans, but I didn't today. Nah, not draining, just gonna dump them in there. Does it really matter? It depends, if you're trying to avoid salt, then I would say, um, go ahead and drain them. If, if salt, you know, if it's not a big deal, then I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about it. Okay, so about a teaspoon of smoked paprika is going in as well. Oh, you're putting spinach in your chili. I've never heard of that. Okay, here we go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and, you know what, I'm gonna leave the spinach for a bit. Um, but now we have to add some stock. Just so, cause we're on a show, I went ahead and heated up the stock. Just so, just so, look at that. Look at that. Is that almost perfect? Perfect to the top, right? Okay, I'm gonna give this another stir. Oh my, oh my. And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and add my pasta. Here's the pasta that I'm using. I'm gonna go put this over here so it can keep cooking while we're going. Now you can use any kind of shell pasta or round pasta. Um, you can even use ABC pasta. That would be kind of cool if you're trying to get your kids to eat it, right? But I saw this, and you know, I love, I don't know about you, do you love the pasta aisle? I love the pasta aisle. And I love kind of standing around, looking at the different ones and saying, oh, what kind of pasta can we put in? Oh, I forgot more veggies. I got peas and, I got peas and carrots. Baby peas and carrots. I gotta put those in too. I like lots of veggies. Do you like lots of veggies? Anyway, I'm gonna dump these in. Okay, actually that was not peas and carrots. That was everything. That was mixed vegetables. Oops, uh, that was carrots, corn, beans and peas. Sorry, grabbed the wrong one. Mixed veggies. Okay, so I'm gonna, look at this. Look how pretty, I don't even, I've never even heard of this brand, but look at the cool little circles. I thought the little circles were so cool. And it's called Anelli. Anelli Sicilani, Anelli. So like Sicily, Sicily Anelli. Maybe that just means Sicily pasta. I don't know, but okay. I'm opening this. Look at these. These are the cutest little things ever. Don't they look like little Cheerios? <laughs> little Cheerios. So anyway, there we go. I'm gonna add because I have so much going on over there. And we have potatoes, so we already have some starch. So I'm only gonna add a cup, okay? A cup of our circles. Look how pretty those circles are. In the water it's going. Okay. We gotta wait for the water to come to a boil. Now you may say, Cindy, that's already all the way to the top. 
What if it boils over? Oh, it does look like SpaghettiOs. We can make homemade SpaghettiOs. Oh my goodness, that may have to be a thing. Anyway, um, it's okay because one, I have the lid off. So we've got steam coming out, which means some of the liquid is going to be evaporating. And then the other thing is, is our pasta is cooking. And so as the pasta or spaghetti or macaroni or whatever you're using, right, um, is cooking, it is gonna soak up some of that liquid. So our liquid is gonna go down just a little bit. So it's, uh, it's all good, all good. All right, so we added, um, the only other thing that I'm gonna add to that is the spinach. Skettios. I know, how many people you say skeddy? So I'll add the spinach in just a little bit. But I want that to come to a boil before I do that. Because that way I'm giving the pasta a little longer to cook. Um, you guys know how I listen to music every morning. And the other day I was listening to John Denver. This morning I was listening to um, Billy Joel. Billy Joel. So, um, tell me what, if you like him, what was your favorite Billy Joel song? I will tell you that I had... Now, I'll say the album, but I didn't have the album. I had a cassette tape, and I actually had to buy it twice because I wore the first one out of Glass Houses. That was like my favorite album, right, that he put out, even though it was a cassette tape. I went through two of them, and um, but I loved Glass Houses. I just thought Billy Joel was so talented and... I had the piano, and quite frankly, if you ever, I don't know if you've ever been to a dueling piano bar, oh, I think those are so much fun. I used to do it a lot, I, I, you know, more so when I was in college and law school a hundred years ago, um, but we would, in downtown Oklahoma City, which I think there's still um, a place in Bricktown now, and what's well, a cassette tape, I know, um, and they have dueling pianos. And so there's a ton of Billy Joel songs and you know, they're playing and the whole bar is singing along and everybody, sing us a song, you're the piano man, right? So cool. So everybody likes piano man, not uptown girl, uptown girl. No, not that one. All right. All right. Sip of coffee. You know, I didn't cheer this morning. Mmm. Cheers. Sakina, good morning. Where are you from? Tell us where you're from. She's always a woman to me. Oh, I listened to that this morning too. Do we have anybody on from uh, Wyoming or Utah or Montana? Minnesota, Minnesota. 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 Anybody from any of those states? Thank you for the coffee clinks, Joanne. Clink. Just the way you are. Oh, first date, his cassette tape between us in the seat. Oh, end of date. Not sure where it was. <laughs> Nina, what is that Polish pottery shape? Again, I hope it was the ball. This is called a milk vase. It's just a vase. I have another one in uh, the fall leaves pattern. And I bought them as vases. But I really wanted a coffee mug in Southern Belle. And so I used this instead. Milk vase. You saw him in concert. Still rock and roll to me. Okay. I'm going to give this a stir. Now, you can use any kind of pasta you want. The only thing that I would suggest in your soup is that you use... You're actually from Minnesota. Well, I don't know if that can count that on the map or not, Vicki. Mm, I have to think. I have to think about that. Um... We finally got somebody from Hawaii. So if you're watching the replay, make sure you say where you're from. We got somebody from Hawaii. So we got to cross off Hawaii. <laughs> Nobody from Alaska yet. Anyhow, um, just use small pasta, okay? So if you're using, just don't use something that's very thick. So um, you could use orzo. You could use um, small um, shells. You could use uh, small elbows, right? Sure I can. It's my map. I can do what I want. All right. So while that's still coming to a boil, I want something. I know this is awful because especially if you're a keto person, because you're like, okay, she already put 
bread. Or, I mean, she already put pasta, and she put um, potato in there, the starch. Oh, Cindy, bad. I know, but but I want to have a little bread. So um, this this is like a cheesy bread. I'm gonna show you. Ugh. So it just it came from the deli section, from the deli section, and it was already sliced. A little barley. That's an idea, Katrina. Thank you. I don't have any barley, but what a great idea. All right, so it was already sliced, kind of thin, which is fine with me. Um, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to turn my broiler on. Broil, low. So my broiler is now on. And, and then I was like, mmm, I could simply make some butter and garlic and spread on there. Ooh, and that would be good, right? A homemade garlic bread? Mm, mm, mm. But then I decided... I have this roasted garlic and this lovely oil, right? I, I don't necessarily want a big chunk of, of roasted garlic on there. So what I thought I'd do is, because you know, when you do your roasted garlic, you cover it in olive oil and then it just sits there. Oh yeah, potato bread. And so um, what, what happens then is you have this lovely garlic flavored oil. Oh. And so I thought, mmm, garlic flavored oil on this bread. Oh, there's a little piece of garlic. Eh, I'm okay with that. So I thought that would be a lovely thing to top this bread with. Some garlic flavored oil. Now you can buy garlic flavored oil, but I'm not exactly certain why you would spend 12 tons of money on that when all you have to do is make your stuff and cover it with oil and poof, you have flavored oil flavored oil. I need a cork for my mug. No, I don't want a cork for it. I want a drink out of it, silly goose. But then, even though that sounds really yummy, doesn't it? And kind of healthy, I, I decided that I'm going to screw that up too. So remember when we did our um, muffaladas the other day? Oh, those sandwiches were so good. I had some leftover provolone. See, provolone or provolone? Minestrone or minestrone? Strone, strone, I don't know. Anyway, so I had leftovers. So I thought um, this would be good. So I'm just going to put, see, look, this bread is shaped like this, like a half moon. So you can use a half a circle. Ah! Okay, so that's it. That's easy. So I'm going to put this in my oven under a low broiler. Oh, your kids love garlic bread? I do too. Sadir, welcome, where are you from? Okay, I'm gonna stick this low broiler. My soup is boiling. Let's bring it over, shall we? I think I'm gonna have to get the pot holders because it's hot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look how beautiful. Oh, oh, look how gorgeous, gorgeous, I tell ya. Look at that. Now our pasta is not yet done. See, but look at, look at all the goodness. Look every bite, veggie goodness. Oh, I'm telling you, if you're not feeling well, if you're cold, if you're hurting, in the tum tum tummy, I know, whatever floats my boat. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my spinach. Now I probably have two, maybe three cups of chopped up fresh spinach. But, you know that it looks like a whole lot in the bowl, but it'll all wilt down in here and just be part of yumminess. Now, the other thing I want you to remember is, the, they always say that the veggies that have the most color, oh, back over here we go, have the most nutrition, uh, the most nutrients. And so, another reason that I wanted to add the spinach, right, um, zucchini and yellow squash. I mean, I figure yellow and green, that's good, right? Too much? No. Well, you don't have to add spinach. You know, you could add kale. <laughs> you could add kale. You could add any kind of greens that, you know, floats your boat. You don't want to do that. You could add some fresh basil. Um, you could add cilantro, whatever your little heart desires. Look at this. Look how gorgeous. Now, that took nothing. And you don't have to use funky weird bread. You can use any, you could use your sandwich bread at home. Really, any kind of bread you had. 
All we put was a little bit of garlic oil on there. Again, you could use butter or garlic butter. You could use butter and regular oil and garlic powder or garlic salt. I mean, really, fine. And then one piece of provolone cheese cut in half, right? Look how pretty that is. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Ooh, yum. See, just a little toasty brown on there. Look how full. Look how yummy that is. Look at that. Look at, look at all the vegetables. Can you see all the vegetables? I mean, really, tomatoes are good for you, although there's somebody out there that's gonna tell me that the tomatoes are bad for my arthritis. Yeah, 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 I know, okay, but they're also, and the garlic's good for our heart, and the spinach. Look at all that yumminess, yum! Okay, there we go. That's too many carrots. Hold on, let me get a, a zucchini. A zucchini, you need some zucchini and some yellow squash. Mmm, 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 mmm. Look at all the yumminess. You gotta have this. But our toast, look, you can just eat the toast, but this is what you're supposed to do with the toast. You're supposed to dunk it in the soup. Mmm, 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 mmm. So good. Well, we had a big day, didn't we? a big thing of soup, some yummy garlic cheese bread, and then don't forget our Captain Spiced Cider. Mm, I wish you guys were here with me and we could sit down and chitty chat and share a meal. But unfortunately, we are separated. So don't forget that we will be back on Tuesday at 11 o'clock, share with your friends. Was, I really appreciate everybody joining today. And so from my kitchen to yours, I hope you stay warm, have some yummy minestrone, mm, or some Captain Sp a Spiced Cider, and keep warm today until I see you again next Tuesday. Have a great day. Bye, everybody.